It is almost Easter and that means hot cross buns. That's right, and there's some fierce competition out there, or as I like to call it, the battle of the buns. So we're going to head out to some of Auckland's favourite cafes and try and find the hot cross bun that tastes the best. Great, I'll meet you back here. Sounds good. I'm here at Daily Bread in Point Chev. These guys are pretty famous for their hot cross buns in Auckland. They actually won the Great New Zealand Hot Cross Bun competition earlier this year. And what's different about theirs is they make them with a sourdough. So we're going to head inside and find out what makes them so special. So tell me about why your guys' hot cross buns are the best in Auckland. Just the team's put in a huge amount of effort towards everything. So our team over in Belmont that have been developing everything and it's a huge process. It's three days of fermentation, it's family recipes and it goes back generations. So it's, it's a really huge effort from them and it's less ingredients and more time. Yeah. Because <laughs> you guys make uh, sourdough hot cross buns which is a little bit different, right? Yeah, yeah, and it's a special type of sourdough. Um, it's from an Italian starter that makes panettone. It has a sourdough taste without being sour itself. Um, and how popular are they? Do you guys sell out every Easter? Normally, normally it's, um, it's pretty crazy around yeah. Easter time especially, but this year it's just been phenomenal since we won the Hot Cross Bun competition. Sales have just skyrocketed. Meanwhile, I've come down here to Ema in the city now. Their Hot Cross Buns sell out almost every single day, so let's go check them out. Wow, those look incredible. Yeah. They smell even better. So tell me a little bit about what makes your hot cross buns here so special? Okay, the first thing you see is the cross made out of custard, um, like proper vanilla bean custard that we make with eggs and milk and butter. We sweeten the buns with honey and the freshly ground spices, there's lots of fruit. And they're very popular. They are very popular. <laughs> how's, how's this Easter been going for oh, you guys, selling out? It's amazing, it's amazing. It's really, really important this year because we're really on our last legs. You know, the CBD has really suffered. The buns have saved me. They've come to save me. So they look incredible, they smell great. So I'll take one away with us and we will give them a try. Do you want us to toast one for you? Oh, yeah, how do you recommend them? Yeah. Oh. Toast it with butter? Is that the way to toast do it? Toast with butter. You awesome. cut them, put them under the grill yeah. and until the, on the open side and then slather them on the butter. Eat Sounds incredible. Finally, I'm here at Scratch Bakers back in the city. We're going to try out some of their hot cross buns and they actually do a custard filled one as well. So that's a bit different. We're going to head inside and check them out. So we've got your more traditional hot cross buns here and you've also got a custard filled version as well. Um, so what's that one like? What inspired that? Uh, so that one we just want to do something a little bit different. So that one's got an all spice and a cinnamon custard uh, loaded with a couple of nice toasty pecans in there as well. Uh, are these pretty popular around Easter as well? Do you guys find yourselves selling out? They are, yeah, definitely. We get some big trays out from the kitchens in the mornings and uh, chuck them underneath and they go really quickly. So do you think these are the best hot cross buns in Auckland? Definitely. So we soak all of our fruit and our citrus in vanilla port and brandy for about six months prior to Easter. Um, so they get really sweet and juicy and just like lots and lots of flavour in them. How was that? And we're back. Buns good buns? Yep, we've got a whole range awesome. of flavours here. Well, let's give them a go. I've got a delicious. <laughs> these are so good. Do you have a favourite? It's honestly so hard to pick, but I have to go with the with the one from Ema just because of the mm -hmm. custard on top. It's just a little bit different, and yeah, I really liked it. Yeah, the custard is a really nice different um, touch, but I mean the classics again. You can't go wrong with either of these as well because you can't they just mess hit with the, the spot. classic hot cross bun. Yeah, but don't take our word for it either. If you want to try any of these, make sure you do get your hands on them before the end of Easter. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.